Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Lizards for Kids and More and today we are going to do a YouTube video on quarantine witcher geckos. So if you have some crazy jumpy geckos, why not tame them? If you have an angry toke gecko uh, like me, might as well tame him too. Try to at least try to tame him down a little bit. But let's just get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is hand feeding your crested gecko. This is just a popsicle stick with some pangea on the end. But basically, all you need to do is you need to put it in front of their faces. Ooh, wrong way. You put it in front of their faces, and then they'll start licking it. So this builds pro positive experiences with your gecko. They'll remember that you're the guy who gives them food. But with any, any lizard, iguanas, chameleons, toke geckos, uh, beer, sometimes even bearded dragons you need to build up positive experiences so they trust you so that is basically how you tame any kind of animal there's different ways how you could tame like iguanas monitor lizards but that's a topic for another video but positive basically positive experiences are uh, is uh, one of the key the key ways to uh, taming a reptile Okay guys, so this is my green iguana, Lizzie Lou. She basically is the queen or or king of my room. The, I'm not sure yet. I, I do not know how to tell if my iguana is female or male. But this is a good bonding experience right here. Hand feeding your green iguana or any kind of iguana really. But just building positive experiences like I said with the crested gecko. But if you guys haven't heard the story of this green iguana, she was actually released into the wild over here in Arizona. And uh, her previous owners uh, got it from someone else who found it outside in Arizona. And of course, I'm pretty sure a green iguana could live over here, but it's not the best conditions and I don't know why. If you guys cannot get a green iguana, just don't get one. They get really big and you need a lot of space. But it's just terrible that somebody would let go such an amazing, amazing pet, such as a green iguana like Lizzie Lou. But, yeah, this one was found over here in the wild of Arizona, which is a shame. But it is really cool to feed green iguanas. I really like to see them eat. They're really cool. And they get big. They get six feet, as you guys may know. If you guys do your research. But, again, guys, hand feeding is a very good way to gaining trust with your animal. And her tongue feels very sticky. As you guys know, like bearded dragons, uh, frilled dragons, green iguanas, they have these sticky tongues, and which are really cool to feel. But... Yeah, positive experiences and hand feeding are the way to go. We are now going to try to tame the toke. So right now I'm just going to tongue feed him because we're, we're still going through the baby steps with him since it is a wild caught specimen. Since we really have to build our trust with this guy. So let me grab a super worm. I always use super worms as my training my training, and I just lost, just lost my super worm. No, I found it again. But anyways, as I was saying, the super worm is what I use for all of my Toke Gecko trying to train. Let's see if he wants it. He locked on. Boom, he got it. So this is basically what I do. I just try to tongue feed him so he could have some positive uh, experiences with, with me. Let's try to give him one more. Let's see. This is in his uh, Zilla hide. As you can see, he loves it in here. He's, he's nice and comfortable with it. And oops, I just dropped one. And you guys are gonna see an awesome super worm takedown. Boom. These guys have amazing jaw pressure, as you guys can see. It gave Coyote Peterson a, a nasty, a nasty bite. As you guys know, they are invasive over there in Florida because of people releasing them 
as pets not doing their research. So again, guys, I'll, I will do a video on that. As All right, well. guys, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, please give it a like. It took a lot of time getting the right camera angles and uh, getting the to the toke to cooperate. But again, guys, hopefully you guys could start taming down your reptiles if you guys needed a little tips uh, and tricks, uh, geckos slash lizards, any kind of reptile really. But hopefully you guys can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Give this video a like. It took a lot of time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. One last thing, stay stay home, stay in self-quarantine, and if you guys need a gecko, you guys can always go to West Valley Reptiles over here in Arizona or any local pet shop. They should have some captive bred crested geckos, but I recommend mine over there at West Valley Reptiles. So that's just the thing I wanted to add.